Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture of Quality and Reliability Engineering. I am Milan Trivedi, Assistant Professor at Edge Institute of Engineering and Technology. In today's class, we are going to start with a fresh chapter that is chapter 5, Contemporary Trends. In this particular chapter, we are going to learn a lot about the different quality concepts such as lean manufacturing, contemporary trends, the basic concept of Six Sigma, a very interesting chapter it is going to be. Now let us start with the first thing that is the concurrent engineering. Now concurrent engineering is a kind of a philosophy which is implemented into the manufacturing process, right? But what do you understand by this word concurrent? Let's get started with it. Basically concurrent actually means the things which is working simultaneously, right? If we talk about a normal engineering perspective, if you want to uh, develop any product, right? What is the normal cycle? First of all, we are having a requirement, right? Now, based on the customer requirement, we are designing some component. So, design stage will get started. Then we implement that design. Means we are producing that. Then we are verifying that. Then we are going for the production, right? Now, here I am telling implement that means producing the prototype basically then we are verifying then ultimately the final production will get started right so this is a normal flow in the case of producing the product now what does this concurrent engineering means that you start all the process early once the requirement are been coming you start designing the product according to it right if some requirement has been changed you go for the change but you start developing that design initially start that event early now whenever you are designing that, uh, just start the activity of making the prototype also, right? Now uh, just the prototype has been developing, at the same time only just start checking the quality also. Then the final stage will come, that is the production also. If the quality stage is meeting, just uh, make a production schedule and uh, start producing the particular product, right? So you are starting all the event, events early. So ultimately it is saving the total lead time. What is lead time? That is the total time of producing the component. So ultimately you will see that the production lead time will be get reduced. So that is the basic concept or the meaning of the concurrent engineering. Coming to the principle, what does it mean? That you start all the tasks as early as it is possible. It is not like that you just start the event early uh, in the best way. but as early it is possible means there should be a proper stage at which you can start that particular event. It should not be started in such a way that it will generate the defect in the product. But as early as possible, right? In that way you need to go. Then the second principle is utilize all the relevant information as early as possible. Everyone participates in defining the objective of their work, right? Involvement of all the people at the early stage is required in order to produce early. Coming to the advantage part, the first advantage is the competitive advantage. What is competitive advantage? So other industry who is producing the similar component which you are producing, right? But if you are launching your product first, naturally you will be having a competitive advantage, right? The second thing is faster time to the market, right? Your product will reach to the market faster because you are ultimately saved your production lead time. The third thing, it enhances the quality. Now this can be a debating part but let us understand that fundamental principle. Now what is going actually, whenever you are designing and making a prototype simultaneously, say some review of uh, production people will also come. So they, if we want to modify their design at the same time they can do that thing, right? Because that product is not finally been developed, right? So some of the activities will go hand in hand. So ultimately it can have an effect on the quality. So we will be having the enhanced quality. And that is the reason we are understanding this concurrent engineering principle in our quality subject, right? We are having an enhanced productivity and decreased design and development time. So these are the different advantages of the concurrent engineering. Now let us understand about the lean manufacturing. Coming to the lean manufacturing, it is a production process which is based on the ideology of maximizing the productivity while simultaneously minimizing the waste within a manufacturing operation. The lean principles sees waste is anything that doesn't add the value that the customer are willing to pay. 
right the benefits of, of the lean manufacturing include the reduced lead time and the operating cost and the improved product quality now how to achieve that lean manufacturing concept basically it is based on the five principles the first thing is a defined value means what are the, are the things that you want to improve in which things you need to add your values the second is map the value stream that how this values can be improved the third thing is a flow creation for that create a proper flow the fourth thing establish a pull system what is pull system it is a kanban system that we had already discussed in our earlier classes okay and the fifth one is go for the perfection everything should be perfect and properly planned second thing the lean is based on the eliminating the waste that is a prime objective because this waste are not adding the value to the customer right that the customer has are paying for so normally these are the different waste which is involved in to the industry if you need to reduce this waste if you want to get the lean manufacturing concept the first uh, the first phase or the waste is waiting the customer should not be unnecessary waiting for a long period of time right normally you all observe this kind of activity in the service industry right they are waiting a lot even in the automotive industry some of the car is having a high waiting time right so obviously they will lose that customer the second is the defect right we need to check the defect that should not be there otherwise the fault product will be developed and the satisfied customer would be there the third is non utilized talent that is also kind of a waste right you need to use all your resources properly right whether that resource is a human resource or a machine that should be used in optimum way the fifth is a inventory see inventory can be of different different things inventory of raw material inventory of finished good inventory of different tools which is used in the industry right but all the uh, inventory must be in a proper way this can be done when you implement kanban properly right that's why in the principle we had discussed about a pull system that is a kanban system the fifth is the transportation right there should not be any one transportation for that proper supply chain management principle must be involved right for that operation research concept must be properly understood if you eliminate this unnecessary transportation the sixth one that is a the motion there should not be any unnecessary motion seventh is extra processing process the good as per the requirement of customer only if you are polishing some of the product more than the customer requirement then that is also of no use ultimately you are wasting the resources and the energy eighth that is over production produce as per the requirement only don't go for the over production and otherwise it will add on the inventory right that is also kind of a waste so you need to eliminate this different eight waste which is present in most of the industry if you do that thing properly you can have the lean manufacturing concept coming to the advantages part we are having a lot of advantage if we go for the lean manufacturing first is we are reducing the different waste then we are production producing at a low cost manufacturing cycle time will be decreased better relationship with the suppliers better use of human resources higher quality and higher profit can be achieved that's all for the today's class thanks for watching